hooks out. We want to call this point A, point B, point C. The rule is you always take the starting points. So you'll never take B, C. You'll take A to B and A to C. You feel with that? So let's do U vas for A, B and U vas for A, C. U, B, A, S, C. So the reason you do that is you have a common initial speed. Okay? Your acceleration is 9.8 in both cases. And it takes four seconds to reach the bottom of the tower, which is T equals four. Okay. Uh, ready then? No. Uh, your T value for A to B is two. And your T value for A to C is three. Call it the distance A to B S1 and the distance of A to C S2. Can anybody tell me uh, what's S2 take away S1? 29.9. Okay. That's the distance covered from A to C compared to A to B is an extra 29 points. Fine. So all you have to do is use S equals uh, UT plus half AT squared. UT half AT squared. So what we should get is 2U minus, oh sorry, plus 4.9 Four, G squared is four. So we get a two U plus nineteen point six. That's for S one. Uh, S two, whoever, is going to be three U plus four point nine times nine. Forty-four point one for that. Okay. Now S two. Take away S one. Two U plus forty-four point one. Take away two U plus nineteen point six. I mean, I answer five point four. You want to find the height of the tower next? No bother, that's just simply the distance of. That's the distance A to D, isn't it? Okay. So A to D is going to be uh, your T value is 4, your U value is 5.4, your A value is 9.8. Use S equals UT plus half AT squared. And what did you get? Huh? 100 meters? 